Hi, I'm DC Collins, and on this edition of Holdex Tech Topics, we'll be removing a gunite brake adjuster and installing a Holdex. And to help us today is our technical assistant, Barry Williams. Before you begin, make sure you have adequate safety gear and plenty of air pressure. You need at least 100 PSI or manually cage the brakes. That's the most important step before beginning the installation. The first step we'll take is to remove the cotter keys and the clevis pins. Our next step, we'll just rotate the adjusting hex counterclockwise, which will rotate the brake adjuster out of the clevis assembly. Next, we'll remove the E-clip from the camshaft and remove the brake adjuster from the camshaft. Now we're ready for the installation of the Haldex brake adjuster, but first, always make sure to inspect the existing clevis pin to see if there's any wear in the pin area. If there is anywhere present, replace it with a standard forged clevis. And before you install the brake adjuster on the camshaft, always use liberal amounts of anises. Now we'll install the Haldex brake adjuster onto the camshafts, and we'll select the amount of washers necessary to line the brake adjuster up in the clevis assembly using at least one washer on the back side and enough on the front to give us no more than 60 thousandths play. Now we'll loosely mount the anchor bracket. Rotate the 7 16 adjusting nut clockwise until the clevis pinholes line up. Apply anti-seize to the clevis pin, install and secure it with a cotter pin. Tighten up your anchor bracket hardware, ensuring that the pointer is in the slot. Now that your hardware is secure, manually adjust the brakes. Tighten the 7 16 adjusting nut clockwise until the shoes contact the drum. And give it a, and give it a half turn back off. Let's take a look at the installation techniques on a trailer axle. This time we'll be installing a Haldex AA1 design. We'll start by removing the cotter pins and the clevis pins. Rotate the adjusting hex counterclockwise to rotate the brake adjuster out of the clevis assembly. Next, remove the snap ring and the brake adjuster from the camshaft. Now we're ready to install the Haldex AA1 automatic brake adjuster and we'll start with the smiley bracket. Begin by installing NICs on the camshaft and then install the brake adjuster onto the camshaft with the adjusting hex pointing away from the brake chamber. Secure the brake adjuster on the camshaft using at least one inner washer and enough outer washers to allow no more than 60 thousandths movement.
rotate the 7 16 adjusting nut clockwise until the clevis holes line up in the brake adjuster arm in the clevis. Apply anti-seize to the clevis pin, install and secure it with a cotter pin. Loosely attach the flat anchor stud pin. Rotate the control arm so the pointer's in the slot, then tighten down the anchor pin. Now we're ready for a manual adjustment. Rotate the adjusting hex clockwise until the shoes contact the drum. Back it off a half a turn. With the Saba self-setting automatic brake adjuster, you'll notice there's no pointer or installation indicator as seen on the AA-1. Use the same installation steps as we used when we mounted the AA-1. With the Saba self-setting automatic brake adjuster, there's no need to set the control arm in the slot. Just secure it. Now adjust the brakes. This concludes this episode of Haldex Tech Topics. Glad you are with us and look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.